favorite viewers welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel got us a, not a Chevrolet but a Ford a 2011 Ford Escape it's got the big 2.5 uh, and it quit running on the guy he pulled up to a stop sign and it said no beans stalled on him uh, I guess it ran like crap and then it stalled and then here it is so it does I did confirm it, it does start and stall but you can give it a lot of throttle and keep it running that's kind of how I got it in here but it is running insanely rich it's making the eyes water so I'll give you the rundown as far as what it sounds like. Like I said, I was surprised I was able to get it in. I thought it was like a fuel pump issue, but I'm not so sure. So everything's normal here. 192K on her. If you don't touch the throttle, that's all it does. And then it stalls. That's the most it's ran ever right there, but it is insanely rich. And then it just shuts off. No engine light, um, but I got a hunch. So mass airflow sensors are super sensitive on, well, most every vehicle, but particularly on Fords. And I've ran, a, it's funny, it's already up. I've ran across the, these symptoms before on Fords and have it like, you know, a little bug or a piece of fuzz or just some minuscule little thing in the mass airflow sensor. So before we even get out a computer, uh, or get too uh, deep into this thing We're gonna take and pop the air box apart here double check the mass airflow And then we're gonna move on uh, quick and dirty uh, There's usually a default strategy. You can unplug the uh, You can unplug the mass airflow sensor and Fords usually have a default strategy that they'll run in That's weird. Um, So you can always do that just to uh, just to see, just unplug it, start the car, and typically, like I say, it'll it'll fill in like a substituted value. Oh, <laughs> hey, who's in there? <laughs> uh, who was in there? Well, we dipped. We're right because there is a big piece of fuzz in the mass airflow sensor, uh, and possibly a bug. <laughs> So I think we got the best of both worlds, but uh, this here is one of the super high flow air filters. I wonder if this little guy ate a mouse. Because <laughs> a little mouse sure ate this. That's kind of funny. <laughs> you always always poke it with your tool. Don't, <laughs> don't stick your fingers in there because, well, you just never know. The little guy might still be home. But uh, yeah, we definitely have some uh, mouse stuff and uh, a yellow jacket I just saw fall out of there. We got some leaves and whatnot. So that certainly is this lady's problem. Yeah, you just got a crap in your airbox here, fella. So we'll stick that to the side and we'll go dissect uh, the mass airflow. So I'm not so sure that's packed in there pretty well, but let's pop it out here and see what we can do. Don't imagine our diagnosis is going to have to go much further than this. I probably should order us an air filter before Napa leaves on the morning deliveries here. Hopefully they have one. They should have. Yes ma'am, I do believe we sucked up a bug and some fuzz. It's a classic bug and fuzz in the uh, mass airflow here. Let me see if I can help you focus here. You guys see down inside there, hopefully. There's some white fuzz and a little bug in there. Let's see if we can't uh, just go like this. In case you don't believe me. Hey, there it is. And that is, it's classic, uh, looks like a mayfly perhaps. They're hatching right now. I can't see without my, without my yeah, I can't see without my binoculars. There's a guy who shoots too much 3D. So there's what was in there. A bug, a piece of fuss. We'll keep your modern day car from cruising down the road. And that's it, so that's what the mass airflow looks like. Let me just see if I can hold this here for you. On the inside, when she's relatively cleaned out, we'll give her a little two to some mass airflow sensor cleaner. And put an air filter in it, and this fella will be on his way. 
That'll be the cheapest fix he ever had. So we're just use some of the old CRC mass airflow cleaner. Give her a little squirt in there. Just make sure we have all the junk out of it. I think we did another video on a Ford that just had a little piece of crud in the mass airflow and I think it was just running rich on that one or maybe it was running lean or just reporting falsely I think because people were really questioning me in the video if I was going to charge a customer to fix it and just like this one the short answer is yes I always do but because I charge somebody doesn't mean I'm going to take them to the cleaners it just means I'm just going to charge them for what I do because <laughs> that's what we do you know, no different than calling like the appliance repair man to come to your house and fix your dryer only to find out one of the kids socks got stuck in the vent you still got to pay the guy even though it was just a sock you know just is what it is you know well, there we go now we just wait for an napper problems yourself today, Holly. Yeah, I do. I was just getting ready to give the guys some fun facts. Oh, fun fact. They like they like sunflower seeds. They'll chew through a bag to get to them and then spread them throughout your car and hide somewhere inside the car. I need to kill it. You need to kill it. that little sucker. <laughs> you do not want a mouse to die in your car, trust me. Do you me. remember the mouse? Oh, I remember. I a little mouse that crawled up in underneath the car and died. It was so bad. It was so bad. We found it. Little little leg hanging out. It was gross. I gotta kill this mouse. <laughs> so as Mrs. O goes and deals with her mouse woes, and you guys are down there in the comment section warning me about the antivirus because I just used the vacuum cleaner. Uh, remember, according to the CDC, it is a one in five hundred thousand chance of being struck by lightning and a 1 in 13 million chance of getting the rare hantavirus, especially east of the Mississippi. Five cases in New York since 1993, so please don't worry about me. And if you are in the comment section, please tell me. Be careful outside and don't get struck by lightning if you really love me. All right, Mrs. O, let's go see this carnage from one of your dirty children. I assume one of the critters brought the critter in. So you got flowers yesterday. Yes, they could have come with the flowers. <laughs> you're such chewed. a dirtbag. Oh, I think he even started to like decide. Oh, to... he's gonna make a little nest. Wow, this happened in one day. Yeah, uh, overnight. And then, and then there's some carrying the seeds way back in here. You're an animal. Oh, I hope you find it because I would like to see you go savage on him. He's taking this stuff and then look. Look, he carried his seeds back here. Come back, you crapped all over everything. Oh, I don't know, he could be in the little sucker could be. Oh. oh, dude, if this thing goes running, it's gonna be hot. At least make it run outside the vehicle. This is all you're an animal. Or at if least I, I'm carting animals around. If I see it, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. <laughs> Do you remember that one you caught in the dog food bag? One time I had one of these chairs. Holy cow. And I went to the baseball game and opened it up. There was a whole family in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go off sandwich in the baseball game? <laughs> I may have. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at all the poop in one night. Oh, nasty. I don't know if you had a freaking mouse or a rat. I'm scared to even look. I know, I know how these little suckers are. I just killed one in my barn the other day. Oh man, I tell you what though. What's this? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's from the, that's from our kids' art project. Oh, see, that's like asphalt roof. It is the roof. Oh. The birdhouse roof. Wow. What, you want to explain your tubes? Because somebody's going to ask about them. You're <laughs> that's, so, how you're, you, that's how you cart fishing poles around for your children. Wow, I can't believe this mouse trashed your van like that in one day. I know. <laughs> so he had seeds in his bag from baseball? Yes. Not no more. Yeah. That mouse is fat and happy, let me tell you what. I know, is he even going to want my peanut butter? Look, I got some traps, I'm going to set them up. I got lots of traps. Lots of traps, I'm going to set them all up in my car. I got two, four, six, eight traps. I'm going to set them up, hopefully he, he's not that fat and happy yet. You're savage, Mr. <laughs> you're savage. Oh, hey. 
You don't get hit by lightning today, okay? <laughs> and here's the suspect flowers that could have brought in the mouse. Dun, dun, dun. There's brand new. Uh, it's an Apple Gold, the 2793. Uh, not a sponsor, of course, as you guys know. Nor do we want them as a sponsor. We just like saying it. Make sure that's all the way down. At least this one has a steel cage so they can't get through it. At least that far, anyways. So we'll get this baby latched down. Yeah, Mrs. O had a, a mouse there one time. Got up in the uh, underbody of the car. It was the most horrendous thing ever. It was last summer, two summers ago. I think the van was almost brand new at that point. The old mouse got in there and died underneath the little sucker. It was absolutely awful. It took us the better part of a day. I remember it was on a Sunday. We skipped going to church that day, let me tell you. Got in the van and was like, hold up. <laughs> Something ain't right. And we started tearing the van apart. I swore it was in the HVAC in the back. Tore that all apart and I was wrong, it wasn't in there, but it was it died underneath the van in like a little cross member, a little portion of the unibody. It was awful. But anyhow, we got a little dead mouse out, but it's crazy how much one little mouse can stink up and ruin your whole day. Makes me wonder if she only had one mouse inside there. That's an awful lot of stuff to get in there and chew up for one little mouse. Did we fix it? Oh baby, runs now. And it doesn't stall. Even better. folks the mouse the mosquito and the piece of fuzz that left the ford escape uh useless day oa on the side of the road left this guy hoofing it and uh you know i had to get a tow truck but anyhow that was an easy fix for this fella hopefully mrs o can catch the mouse that got in her car and uh, hopefully the little sucker gets out of her car because that will ruin my day if that little guy's up in there i will burn it to the ground if we have to and uh let's hope that's not the case but I do want the case for you to be is you go in the comment section. Questions, the comments, the concern, the Facebook, the Insty. Watch out for the lightning, my guy. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.